Hey, it's Bree, and today we getting into some big back activities. Damn, little lady. You so sure can't put it away. <laughs> If you've been here before, thanks for stopping by. And if you're new here, go ahead and click that red button and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for notifications because I know after you eat with Brie, you're gonna wanna see me all the time, every time I upload. Let me get comfortable right quick because the only reason I have my hair down was for the thumbnails. A few moments later. Y'all see I got furniture? <laughs> in the last mukbang that I uploaded, I came clean to you guys and told you I have no furniture. When I uploaded that video, I was like, hell no. We're going to get some furniture right now. I wanted an area that I could eat and work at. That's what it really came down to. I was like, you're going to have to elevate. If you want to elevate your craft, you got to elevate your life. And bitches don't hate. Get with the motherfucking program. Get like me. Don't be mad at me because I do what I do. I didn't even think I was going to film this video. I'm with them girls that got stomach problems. I'm not about to be blown in the bathroom at my job. Like, I'm going to be so real. Like, I'm not about to be having no astronomical farts. I'm not about to be doing none of that. Like, I don't feel like doing that. I'm excited to film this video for two reasons. Number one, I can pretty much talk about whatever I want. Number two, I am about to get my nails done anyway. So I figure it makes sense to eat my last seafood boil because I'm going to take a break. I've been eating a lot of these. And I feel like at this point, I'm just eating them to prove to myself that I got the money to spend. Every time my black ass got some money, I need me a seafood boil. I remember one week I ordered a seafood boil back to back because I just didn't like the way it tastes the day before. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give them another chance. But now I feel like I need to stop while I'm ahead before they start to get nasty. So today's seafood boil, pretty simple. I wasn't trying to do too much. Like I said, I didn't even think I was gonna film this video. So basically I got shrimp with the head on. I got sausage and I got corn as well as these Cajun fries you see me munching on. I'm just taking the lemon, squeezing the lemon inside the boil because that actually really does make it taste so much better. One thing I would never do though is get a soft boiled egg. No. Tell me why. Last week was like a really weird week for me. I was getting like fucked up sleep. It was just like a lot of shit going on. I started to feel moody. I was complaining more and I wasn't just complaining more because I wasn't getting rest. I was just complaining about stuff in general. Like I started to develop a pretty negative like outlook or perspective and i really had to catch myself because i personally believe that it's easier to manifest negativity into your life than positivity or blessings like blessings you gotta like go hard for you gotta be like patient but if you want to manifest some negativity some bullshit some chaos you ain't even gotta do too much just keep thinking those negative nasty thoughts okay and so i kept trying to catch myself i'm not gonna lie and i even like was talking to my big sister about it because i'm like why do I feel like this like I was trying to talk through the emotions so I could get to the source make a long story short the devil is a lie bitch I had a pretty stressful situation come up in my life I'll leave it up to the audience to guess what was stressing me out whether it was school my job my neighbors my channel my family I'm gonna leave it up to y'all to figure it out because you know I love to read the comments when I was going through that situation, that's when I got the idea to do this video because I'm like, if I get bad news out of this situation, I'm going to treat myself. And if I get good news out of this situation, I'm going to treat myself. And that's exactly what I'm doing today, bitch. Today is a celebratory treat, bitch. And this is why I said the devil is a liar. I've been uploading consistently on my channel. Everything in my life has been going pretty good since I moved. I have literally been living my life like it's golden. For real. And when the situation was over, especially the way that it ended, all the information that I was worried about, that I was feeling anxious over, God put it on somebody's spirit to come to me and give me the tea. And honestly, that took so much stress off my shoulders. I knew God was going to answer my prayer. Like when I was going through it, I started really praying and I was like, I know you're going to answer my prayer. Like I definitely had faith in that. I just was having problems thinking positively. And so to have somebody come to me and 
and give me the tea just because I'm Brianna and they like me that brought me so much comfort because I'm like okay boom now I have a game plan based on this information that I just received you know what I'm saying my hands are so dirty but I cannot stop eating all I'm trying to say is when I got to the bottom of the situation and everything was said and done I genuinely felt like that was a distraction honestly I do feel like that whole little situation happened to get me to stop uploading on my channel I feel like I was supposed to get so wrapped up in that situation that I was not able to focus on being consistent on my channel that's why I say the devil is a lie I was gonna go into hiding depending on the outcome of the situation I was gonna take a break from uploading because I'm like okay we gonna have to wrap our head around this we gonna have to readjust and that's why this is a celebratory feast because at the end of the day everything worked out in my favor I don't know why I was acting funny because I'm having the time of my life filming this video and y'all don't understand like I set a goal for myself days ago that I was gonna film this video and today I just feel like I went through like four five hundred different emotions like I really did not want to film this video I damn near talked myself out of it which is what I always do I always do that shit I actually think I talked about that in my other mukbang that's how you know I'm not lying because the storyline stays the same so I keep saying that I'm gonna take a trip and then I keep pushing the trip back because I'm like oh well, why don't we go here why we go there and then ultimately no trip is taken because a bitch can't make up her mind but I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about how I would love to travel just to eat I know a lot of people hate Kim Kardashian but that woman will fly to New Orleans to get those beignets I think that's what they're called and to be honest I'm trying to be on the same shit like if I want to go to New York for some pizza girl you got five hours to spare let's go these really are the roaches of the seas look at that shit this is a roach <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've been thinking about that shit. Especially because I read the Bible. Uh. My life has been so peaceful lately and it's because I stopped chasing men and I started chasing my dream straight up and I'm not even trying to sound corny I'm being real as hell like I'm really sitting here and I'm thinking about like how happy I have been lately everything has just been working out in my favor I have no complaints about life like at all and I think it's because I don't want to say I've given up on love but bitch that's not like I'm not focused on that shit I have way better things to be focused on and when i say i have way better things like i'm so serious i don't know maybe my frontal Ooh. cortex is finally fully developed i think the last time i got ghosted especially because that guy was like really on my dick he was really pumping my head up for real i'm not gonna lie that situation right there i was like take me out coach take me out the game cut the show i'm done take me out Take I'm not trying to make it seem like men are the root of all evil in my life because that would be a lie This is kind of my first time in life having peace of mind like complete peace of mind And I feel like I should enjoy that I remember I had this French roommate and she always used to say life is not supposed to be hard I'm not gonna lie. She was right since I eliminated dating I'm a happier individual. Like it sounds fucked up, but it's so true. Like, because I'm focused on things that I can actually control. I can't control no man. And I do notice now that I'm focused on myself, I'm starting to get more guys hit me up. All of a sudden, they can't stop thinking about me. I'm like, hey, what can I say? I love the attention. I'm gonna entertain it. I need stories to tell my grandchildren. How about that? One day somebody's gonna look at me and they're not even gonna believe I used to be hot. I gotta tell them something. I gotta do it for the plot. There was like this trend of like older women talking about how they wish that they actually enjoyed their period of being single because now they feel like they've lost their identities and being mothers and how when they were single they were just waiting to be picked waiting to be married and they felt like once I get married and once I have children, that's when my life will begin. And if they could go back in time, they would enjoy that period of being single and not having responsibilities and not having a husband to clean up after. Like I said, I'm not trying to villainize men. There's a lot of unhappy relationships. It go both ways, you feel what I'm saying? But the ladies that I watched, they kind of gave me the vibe that like their husbands were just an extension of their children. That's the vibe that I was getting. I said all of that to say, I feel like this is a season for me to enjoy enjoy being single like really actually enjoy being single actually enjoy the fact that I live alone I don't have any roommates I'm not living with family I'm not living with somebody that's 
significantly older than me I'm not living with strangers I don't know why I have not filmed that video about how I got my apartment yet I guess it's none of y'all business at this point because I really cannot tell you why I have not filmed that video but I know that when I do film that video it's going to get a lot of attention so that's probably why I'm just taking my time you know what I'm saying like mm -hmm. Do I want to spill my tea just yet? I just want to say thank you so much for supporting my vision and what I'm doing over here on this pocket of the internet because I really believe in what I'm doing. Like, I'm very proud of what I put out. I'm very proud of the content that I create. And I thank you guys for giving me the time of day. I really mean it because we are on a roll here. I have a vision for myself and I will achieve that vision. A lot of people rely on what they look like and who they can manipulate and I have have been on YouTube for years now and I have created my own lane and I have been getting it out the mud and it may take longer but bitch I will get there delayed does not mean denied you guys let me go ahead and end this video before I fall asleep on camera because I need to lay down I am so satisfied like when I say satisfied it's like I'm full but I'm not stuffed so I honestly feel amazing right now. I feel like we had a great conversation. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Support your girl. Get those fingers moving in the comments below and let me know what I should eat next. I'm thinking Wingstop. I'll probably start craving Wingstop for like the next week or so. With that being said, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for sticking around and I will see you in the next video. Till next time.